Let's talk North Dakota state tax rates. That's right, everybody. Just back from taking my kid to hockey practice, and we're going to talk about a sport that they play in North Dakota, which is hockey. But we're actually going to talk about payroll. We're not really going to talk about hockey. Um, I was asked to do a, a payroll file for North Dakota today, and I was cued into the fact that North Dakota actually changed their tax rates in the middle of the year. And while that's normally frustrating for most accountants, it's actually pretty beneficial for those residents of North Dakota because your tax rates are generally going to be lower now. Um, they condensed the tax rates. And so the new formula for North Dakota only has three different pockets of tax rates. And I kind of wanted you to show how that formula is generated. I want to show everyone how that's generated. Um, basically, so there's only, yeah, three different tiered levels. Um, the numbers are slightly different depending on what your status is and which W-4 you filled out. Uh, sometimes you'll fill out a W-4 that's an older W-4 prior to 2020, it's called. And uh, if you filled out that W-4, then you can put allowances on it. But if you filled out a new W-4, it doesn't have allowances, but it has other different questions. So you can fill it out either one. Um, and basically, here's what the formula looks like in general. Um, if you're single and you filled out an old W-4 and you made less than $51,650, you won't generally owe any tax to North Dakota. And if you made somewhere between $232,900 and $51,650, somewhere in the middle there, you're going to get taxed on 1.95% of that amount that's in between those two numbers. And if you made more than $232,900, you're going to start to pay 2.5% on that amount of money over that amount. So there's a bunch of different formulas for each different status. They're all here in the payroll file, but it's retroactive to January 1st. So you probably over withheld slightly for your employees um, because this is a retroactive change, meaning they, they issued that change in the middle of the year. So you weren't doing anything wrong if you were withholding at the higher rates earlier in the year. However, that just means that people in North Dakota will probably get a refund, but you can also um, you can also adjust those retroactively. And so I kind of wanted to show some things that we can do here in this payroll file, because if you adopted this, this payroll file in the middle of the year and you wanted to change what the federal or what the North Dakota state withholding was, there's a couple different places to do it. If you want to adjust what the federal withholding was for any given employee on a pay period, you would do it right here in the current federal with, withheld column. If you want to adjust what the North Dakota withholding is, you would do it right here in this column that says, you can do it a couple places. You could actually do it in the state tax column, which is in yellow, or you could do it right here in the North Dakota tax withheld column. Um, but basically, rates have been reduced, and um, it's good to enact that if you are an employer in North Dakota. A um, couple other things I wanted to talk about. This payroll file is pretty flexible, and I was asked today to set up a payroll file that has like certain employees are paid in different frequencies and you can do that. Um, so even though it looks like there's a paycheck that's coming out every week, this file has actually been set up so that the first employee, this Benny Boombop, Benny Boombop is actually on a quarterly payroll cycle, meaning they generally only receive four paychecks per year. And that is easily adjusted by just adjusting a few formulas in here and saying, you know, it's not 52 pay periods in the year for weekly, but it's just four pay periods in the year. And I've made those changes uh, in this file. So you can see that's one of the reasons why there's no um, North Dakota state tax withheld on this person's wages. Because if you look at what their gross wages are for the year, when you annualize what their wages are, as you'll see here in a second, their annualized North Dakota wages are only going to be about $15,000. Yeah, 15300 is what their annualized wages are on this paycheck. Um, so that's less than 52000 so they're not going to owe anything. Um, if you were to change that and, you know, say instead of four pay periods, that's where that number is here, if they were actually getting paid weekly, you change that, you'd see all of a sudden that they would owe tax. They would have to have some tax withheld. Um, 
and uh, depending on whether or not they used it in old or a new W4, um, but we're not doing that. So I just want to show you how flexible this file is that it can really allow for you to set your employees at any payroll cycle all within the same file and all of the reporting is just going to flow seamlessly. This is for an agricultural business. So you fill out a 943. This is what the 943 looks like at the end of the year. It fills itself in automatically. Also has North Dakota state reports by quarter. Um, it's got pay stubs in here. Um, so we click on the pay stub. You just change the employee name or change the pay period date and the pay, pay stubs just automatically change and they keep year to date totals over here. Just everything works really, really seamlessly. And this is one of the products that, to be honest with you, this is one of the products that I am most proud of. I mean, I do a lot of different Excel creations. Um, many of them are related to sports predictions and stuff like that. Sometimes those work well, but this one helps small business owners that don't want to pay a lot for that muffler. As I always say, you don't want to pay a lot. You want to handle your payroll yourself. You want to get an idea of where you're spending money and what your employees are doing and when they're working. This file takes care of all of that. And uh, I mean, there are people that are not highly IT literate, um, not Excel specialists, not programmers. And everybody says the same thing to me. They're like, yeah, this thing's so easy to use. I'm really happy with it. So I don't mind putting the effort. It's a full 50 state version. I can do any state and the Virgin Islands, any payroll cycle, any type of business. It does not matter. Whatever you need, I'll help you out. And it's like 150 bucks for the whole year. So uh, I just want to do a video because North Dakota did change. And I wanted to document a video showing the new rates here in North Dakota. And if you're interested in a payroll file, you can go to KenBraverman.com and pick one up for yourself and I'll get in touch with you and customize the file for you so that it works for your business. So that is this file. Um, there's a lot in here, but it works. So good luck. Enjoy. I have not been to North Dakota, but now I have a reason to go. It's the only state within the continental United States that I have not visited. That's got to happen. Probably won't happen this year in 2023. Burr sounds cold in North Dakota already this time of year, but certainly uh, in 2024, that is on the schedule of places to go. All right. Good luck. Payroll should be easy. We are making it so, and we're going to continue to make it so here.